to the exciting and new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> that, yeah, that music got loud there for a second. Was that Did just my headphones loud? or I was that so you? I thought so too, yeah. No, even, it, no matter how much I use the slider. I was loving it though. how loud like, the music is. It will. It's since it's on its own track. It's the exact same volume. Oh, okay. I was like, that's so loud. I love it. I was like, so that was perfect. Just, that was just to affect our ears. Is <laughs> that what you're saying? Only like, we can. Were you that, not deaf yeah. yet? Here you go. Bomb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Want to uh, tell us what movie we're uh, discussing this week, Andy? Oh, I thought that was your job. We're doing uh, 19, 1982 Richard Pryor comedy classic, The Toy. December tenth. I, I should say the. Richard Pryor, yes. Jackie Vehicle? Gleason. Vehicle. Yeah. Classic. 1982 toy. Uh, it was the December toy. 10th, 1982, when it was released in the theater. Yeah, the theater. Um, I watched this. It's streaming on HBO Max. That's where I caught this. I believe that's where you watched it as well. I did, too. Brian? I did as well. I watched this in the theater, too, back in 1982 nice. also. Uh, rated PG. HBO for me. This was one of my favorite HBO movies as well. It's one of those ones that was on all, all the, time. the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, running time is an hour and thirty nine minutes, and directed by legendary director here. I, I was actually shocked when I saw his name. I was like, I did not know that Richard not know. Donner. Really? Like this is fresh off is of like director. Superman wow. two or something like that, which he just been fired off of. But yeah, you, oh, you didn't even know he directed it. You no. didn't even look it up. I didn't. I didn't know till I was watching it. I, I mean, never look anything. Maybe up. I knew that back. In I the day. knew just because he was on the Gilbert when he was on Gilbert's podcast. It came up there, you and I was like, "Whoa, it. wow, really?" You know, I, I, I got to be honest. Watching this movie at the start, the credits were. I mean, the, the opening to this <laughs> was maybe one of the worst movie intros I've ever seen in my life. The music Agreed. sucked. They they kept you know I. I they kept going to stuffed animal, stuffed animal, stuffed animal until they repeated them like 17 times. I'm like, now the comes the giraffe, animals. now comes the unicorn, now comes the bear. And they kept going to them. And then some of the names on the block were in that like neon orange that you cannot put against a light color. Uh-huh. Ned Beatty's name I missed in the credits. I actually like rewound a couple seconds because I'm like, I can't believe Ned Beatty hasn't been in the credits yet he should be like third or fourth the build stuffed and animals then, in the beginning don't make any sense yeah. like why why are we uh, seeing yeah. stuffed animals it doesn't well you don't i guess know that's what, you his don't know room what, right i know but I mean, it doesn't eventually. make sense well no it doesn't make sense because we haven't been introduced to that yet you and know what like I mean? to say that those are toys i guess stuffed animals are toys but yeah but not, not no one thinks not, of them as toys no. they're just like something to shut a baby up i mean with, he you know? had, some of the toys that he had no, though were yeah. insane like it was like that basketball thing that's like in uh dave and busters or the the boxing thing that was at the time that punched him in the uh I punched him in the punch leg. Him on the left hip or whatever it was, but he went down. He got punched in the nads. But yeah, that intro was terrible. Like I was like, "Would they put three dollars into this?" It was lazy. Not, yeah, Ugh, that's so bad. not. So and you know, if you're gonna do like that kind of long intro where it's the whole song, you're gonna introduce Make every single fun. person. Have something going on in the background. In fact, what they should have had in the background was the first ten minutes of this movie because I was almost checked out. And I I remember talking to you about this before. Um, this is bef- breaking the fourth wall. Well, here. before we watched the movie, I was saying like I remember there's a part of this movie where they're just at his house and it's just like God damn, get on with the movie. I thought it was at the end. That's not how it's it more is. in the beginning. It's the beginning. I mean, the first ten minutes are him at his house, I'm like the picnic or yeah. playing poker was yeah. fun. Like they're betting with Alpo coupons and yeah, but it went on way too long, way too long. So I was kind of like almost checked out between the credits and that long opener sort of like pe- some people get lost when they're watching um willy wonka when uh his mom sings cheer up charlie <laughs> a lot of people hate that i think it's a fun song it's a sad song and it's is it's, jason gonna be um are... flagged for that with his off-key <laughs> rendition of that <laughs> no it'll be fine maybe i'll maybe and by I'll, the way the, can we do that as one of our movies that willy we wonka? Uh, choose sure. yeah I would well, like someone, you wonka. have to fun. you have to have one of our guests choose that that's what you have to do have to um dana <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> Where, where Richard Kevin's Pryor, coming on soon. Everybody. I know, yeah, I know you back. want to do like the cast and stuff like that, but where Richard Pryor was living, that that nuclear power plant or whatever the hell it was, the factory was like right in his backyard. I was like, was he in Bates, Louisiana as well? Because that's where, uh, that's where, uh, I guess he's outside Jackie of it. Mason's, uh, place. He's in Bates, Louisiana, but that's also his last name. Yeah. So I remember when I watched this movie back in the old him, days, yeah. I had no idea where this, I, like, I was always like, I guess this is like LA, but. It, it doesn't is look LA. very California, but Louisiana. then he's like, <laughs> yeah, right. But he's like, I could take you to, 
Six Flags. I can take you to New yeah, Orleans. I'm like, oh, I guess this is in one of my Louisiana. favorite lines is right there. Is that uh, what do I have to do with him? Take him to Six Flags. It's one of my favorite lines. But then like, when he says I, to the I kid, I quote this movie to this day still, and that's one of the lines that I use. She says that to him when. Oh She's, yeah! When, oh, when he the, realizes it's, it's been a year week. already. Like, I didn't realize it's his week already. <laughs> that, Dude, talk and, about a great lawyer, man! One week a year of child <laughs> custody. My God, man! Can we? Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. jumping I all over the place. I was jumping ahead to some of my favorite lines because one of my all time. The, my favorite line in this whole movie is. That's not an ashtray, you asshole. Oh, that was great. <laughs> and the thing is, I guess when I was 12, I don't remember that. The thing that he ashed in and the thing that is an ashtray it's the are the same exact, exact same thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, scoops it out like puts it in the other thing. It was like a skull or something like that. Just the way he uh, said, you asshole. asshole. <laughs> yeah, he said asshole a couple times with with, with zing. There's uh, a, yeah. The way he said it is perfect. <laughs> All right, I'll get out of there. Let's go Sorry. back to... Uh, Let's get back to our description because I didn't do that part. Oh, yet either, oh you don't even know what this movie's about, you people out there. You're so ignorant. Uh, you real quick, an, un, an underemployed, yeah, an underemployed reporter finds himself literally purchased as a toy for a rich, spoiled brat. Oh, and here's our extended version. Uh, on one of his bratty son Eric's annual visits, the plutocrat U.S. Bates takes him to his department store and offers him anything in it as a gift. Eric chooses a black janitor who has made him laugh with his antics. At first, the man suffers many indignities as Eric's toy, in parentheses, but gradually teaches the lonely boy what it is like to have and to be a friend. Um. When they're buying the him, <laughs> when they're buying him at the store, there's a lot of money there. When they're flat, they're just like shoving. Could you count it? I was no, to. no. What I was going to say is there's a gigantic Confederate flag hanging like over Richard Pryor's left shoulder. I was like, that, that like, was in. I'm uh, sure that, that was in his office. And he had one in his yeah. office too. But I just thought, like, why is there a Confederate flag hanging in a toy store? Like, what's that all about? It was in his office, uh, right over. Uh, yeah, listen, when he had it in there too. He, but he's in, got uh, the Klan coming to his party, exactly, so I mean, he doesn't yeah. give a shit about the Confederate flag. That's the least of his problems. But I was, was shocked that thing, there was yeah. one in, in the, the store toy makes store. No sense, yeah. The fact that he had a They know sword. they lost the war, right? They know that? The fact that like, he Has had... there ever been a, a, a country or an, an ideology that celebrates losing 150 years after the fact? It doesn't make sense that he, for he had- For five a... years of some, something that was in it, existence for five years. It's insane. It doesn't make sense that he has a department store either. <laughs> well, he has, he's like one of those guys that has everything. Yeah, I know, but the department store- He has just, a newspaper? It doesn't fit in. It's just like- a, a, and what's a plutocrat? Does that mean he owns? That, he has enough know. money to that, own Pluto or something that, like that? That's, like that's he's a got lot, so right? much money he can own he can Pluto, own a <laughs> which was a planet back then. They must call it like a Uranus. Yeah, back, a back Uranus crat. It was now. still a planet. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> you're a Uranus crat. The tagline for this movie on the box, you know, like the movie poster uh, or whatever, was when Jackie Gleason told his son he could have any present he wanted. He picked the most outrageous gift of all. Dot dot dot. Richard Pryor. Oh, I thought you were going to say a black man or something like that. Because there's a few of those thrown in there here and there. Like, it's like uh, I mean, this movie wasn't outwardly racist, but there was it was one, certainly, there was a current of it when underneath they saw, this When whole they saw him movie. outside and he was running when he was running oh, outside yeah. of the party, you can hear one guy going, <laughs> yep. he's, def it's all, he's definitely on marijuana. Yeah, I bet it's marijuana. On, you hear he's definitely on drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a. He said, he's on marijuana, I bet you. I mean, I don't think you can make a movie in America where a white guy buys a black guy to entertain his kid and not have that, although he's paying him. So there's there's never slavery Yeah, involved, there's a whole still. bunch of money uh, transaction uh, just standing in the store. Ned Beatty, I didn't get to the cash yet, but <sighs> Ned Beatty's- Would you like to know what the going rate of $10,000 in 2022 is? <laughs> Do you know what it is? Yeah, $32,000. Mil $32, oh, yes, $32, sorry, million. sorry, sorry, sorry. $32,000. So when he was offered $10,000- Today you'd be offered thirty two thousand dollars, which I mean for a week's work. I mean Brian makes that in a week, but I mean that for us that. normal working yeah. slobs, Shit. like that's a good that's a good. Pay. I'll do that. Yeah. Um, this cast we were speaking about playing Jack Brown, Richard Pryor passed away in two thousand five at the age of sixty five from a heart attack. He also was suffering from uh, MS. MS. He had uh, that for quite some time. 
Which I don't know if any of that was ever, I mean, I guess the heart attack, but the MS, I don't think it was related to him setting himself on fire. That was just. No, uh, the MS came on later yeah. on, but I mean, he had it for quite some time. Yeah, I know he was. He did a, that last movie with Gene Wilder, um, Hear No Evil, See, see no, no Evil. evil. Hear No yeah. Evil, yeah. And that's he in looked his top four. terrible in that. He was like, it's I'm like, what are It's a good doing? movie at, at eh, some it's parts. Okay. It's, but I, I like that one. It's early Kevin Spacey, too. It does. Have, he's like the girl's assistant or whatever. Yeah. That girl with the. What was her name? I don't know, but she's got oh. those steely blue eyes with a dark black right hair red dress yeah yeah yeah, She's yeah early the- kevin spacey but that hear no evil see no evil or see no evil here and it has one of the best lines in movie history when, and that line is when gene wilder's the deaf one and, and the guy's like what are you fucking deaf and gene wilder's like yes i'm fucking deaf <laughs> I remember seeing that in the theater, like pissing my pants because it's a PG movie. I didn't expect that, like out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, double f bomb. <laughs> oh man, Gene so Wilder. Richard Pryor. So what is it? hear no evil, see no evil is in his top four. Yeah, it's see no evil, hear no evil is see in no, his top four. No. You want to try his others? Yeah, I mean, there's a million. Is the there's toy a million is not in his top it, four? But JoJo is, Dancer, but is Brewster's million? JoJo Dancer not in there now. Brewster's millions. Brewster's Millions did not make it. <gasps> Any other Gene Wilder? Silver Streak? Silver Streak did make it. Stir Crazy? Did not make it. Live on Sunset Strip? Did not make it. Ooh. If I say three, does that mean anything to you? Three? Yeah. Oh, Superman Superman three, three yes. Hmm. And so, the fourth one is Bustin' Loose. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, that was one of his Bustin early Loose, movies. Yeah. You know, Richard Pryor is one of those guys that he was a dirty comic when we were young. So I'm. I think the toy was probably my first ever real experience. He with used to him. be a clean comic before. And then, before, yeah. And then um, he, he said when he said nobody could beat Cosby. He just you know interesting. Yeah, he, he got but, uh, raped by Cosby. No, oh, Cosby but raped him. When, um, <laughs> nah, like Cosby I know I saw Silver way. Streak on like. TV back in the day. That might have been my first ever experience. Oh, first with I've him. seen him like yeah. Silver Streak for me too. But yeah. the toy was the first movie I ever saw him in the theater. Because then it was the toy, Superman three, Brewster's Millions, all I within like a couple of years of toy each other. Could possibly be the first time I saw. Oh, and Stir Crazy, Stir Crazy sure. also. I saw but that in the theater. I was a little younger than you too, so I didn't mm. see this in the theater. But um, I did see this a lot on HBO when it first started airing on HBO. It was one of those movies. It came on HBO, then it was. Oh, and I watched it every time. It, yeah, and like it, you would put on, no matter what part it was on, you were putting it on. You were rich kids with on. your HBO when you were young, man. Yeah. I didn't have HBO until I was an adult living on my own. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen this since the 80s, and I was quoting lines in my head. And yeah. I was like, I can't believe. I mean, it's been still remembered it. 35 well, that's like years. Like I said, I still quote this movie to this day. Like, yeah. I, I mean, it's just one of those things. It's always stuck with me. And it's one of those movies I saw so many times as a kid. And it's like just... It's in there that I don't even know it's in there. You know what I mean? It's uh-huh. just, and then it just comes out of nowhere. There are definitely, I mean, anytime anybody says U.S. I'm U.S. Like, it's I, I it's definitely always U.S. Said, it's U.S. <laughs> like I've done that a million times in my life as an adult. Uh, speaking of U.S. Bates, he was played by Jack E. Gleason. Jack E. Gleason. <laughs> uh, passed away in 19. 19- 87 so only five years after this yeah. i mean he had he smoked 15 cigarettes in on camera in this movie so yeah including one where he was getting he couldn't even ra- make- like the water was just flowing on him from the fire alarm <laughs> he put the cigarette in his mouth he's trying to light the light the cigarette was like <laughs> the da- dangling because it was so wet i was like i don't think you're lighting that, that was thing, a guy but- that was just all his uh Anything he wanted, he was drinking. He was yeah. he had all of it, and he I just, mean, he was one of those like one of those excess, first, you know, first like TV stars, like him and uh, um, um, Ed Norton. Well, not Milton or Carney, Burl. Milton Burl. Yeah. Oh, so, Milton like those guys were like the first TV stars of all time because they of their shows back yeah. in the fifties and stuff like that. But yep. um, so Honeymooners is in his top four. Honeymooners is in his top four. Can you tell me how many episodes there are of the Honeymooners? I, we've done this before, and for some reason, it is stuck in my head. Ooh, so then let's see if Andy knows. Yeah, I know there's not a lot, but I was going to say like 40 or something like that. 39. That is correct. Oh, get the hell out. I, I, don't, yeah. I can't believe I was that close. <laughs> it must have somehow stuck in my head, yeah. just not correctly. Yeah, I think we... he was on, Was he on an episode of The Love Boat? Uh, 
I don't know if he was or nor no, uh, his wife. Audrey Meadows was. Audrey yes. Meadows. That's right. Yes, 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 yes. That's how we talked about the honeymoon. But, right? yeah. <laughs> now, does that include the like those famous lost episodes? I'm sure we talked about that in the I lost believe it episode does. too. I believe it does include. The, I remember uh, when they was came out episode. in the eighties. That was a big deal, like the lost honeymoon episode. Yeah, because that was episode. like he had just died. And it maybe, came out right maybe. after he died, I think. Yeah. But like that was one of those things, like he had his own show, the Jackie the Jackie, I was gonna say the Jackie Mason show. Jackie, the Jackie, Jackie Mason, Mason show. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he on last week's episode? Um he had his he had his own show, and the honeymooners was like a skit on that show. Yes. So it was a part of the, the Jackie it's, it's Gleason spin-off. show, and it's then he spun yeah. it off. So there's like in those 39 episodes, I think there's also Parts of the Jackie Gleason show that could be considered. Mm. I, I don't know if those are available either. Like, I believe every no episode was shot. Then. I think almost every episode was shot right in the apartment, except there was like one episode outside of it. Maybe I might be wrong there, but I feel like he went to like Elks Club Lodge a couple times. Or the Water Buffalo Lodge. Oh, that might have been Fred. Sorry, I get those. I get Fred, Fred was definitely I get Water Fred, Buffalo. I get Fred yeah. and Ralph mixed up sometimes, but which is perfectly I know, normal because that's what it's based on. So, but uh. Playing. So wait, so wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. So his top four were, yeah. The honeymooners. You say so far, you said the honeymooners. So far, that's all you got. And Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit is in his top four. Smokey and the Bandit too. That is in his top four. Yes, one left. The one with Tom Hanks. I was thinking about that too. I don't remember <clears throat> what it's called, but I remember he was in a Tom Hanks movie late How about there. This? Oh, it? the Hustler. There you the go. Hustler. Oh. That there had to have been one of. Or was it Hustler 2? The Hustler player. 2 was uh, Hustler the Color two, of Money with, uh, with Paul Newman and right. Tom Cruise. That was the Hustler 2. <laughs> it is. Oh, really? The Color of Money. That was that was because because um, Paul Newman plays Fast Eddie in The Hustler. That's who oh, yeah. Jackie oh. Gleason is tr- you know, training to be a hustler. And so now Color of Money comes out 30 years later, and he's the trainer to Tom Cruise. Martin Scorsese directed Color of Money. Wow. Sequel to The Hustler. Speaking of uh, shooting pools. I think I got all that. I think like 90% of that's correct. <laughs> Maybe even 100, but de- I'm definitely 90% certain 100% of that is correct. Speaking of shooting pool, Jackie Gleason uh, taught Scotty Schwartz how to shoot pool on <laughs> oh. set. Did they actually yeah. play pool at all in that? I know they talked about it, but. not. I mean, just on set, probably off set oh. or whatever. They probably did There's a pool know. table in his office, for sure. Um, so I jumped ahead there. Ned Beatty playing Mr. Morehouse. Uh, he passed away in 2021. Just uh, Wow. You know what? I kind of thought Ned Beatty was still alive. I'm no, sorry to hear recently, that. Because I remember it was natural causes, they said, 83. Good job, Ned Beatty. Always loved Ned Beatty. He, he was like one of those guys when he showed up in something, you're like, all right, Ned Beatty. Yeah. Good job, man. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you're in this. I yelled at my mom and my brother because when I brought up Ned Beatty being in the movie. Being in this movie. Yeah. And, and they, they were, were thinking it was they, Warren Beatty? No, they no, were just like, well, my mom's like, I don't know who that is. And Come I'm just on. Like, what? And I, I got angry. Yeah. Got and angry. your brother too, Jimmy. My didn't brother know too. Who that- and I'm just like, so then I go on YouTube and I start bringing up Ned Beatty, like from Deliverance and everything. Mm-hmm. Superman. And she's like, I kind of think he, I recognize Still, him. even like, if you pulled him up? Yeah. And I'm just like, what is wrong with you? Like you're an old the fact, woman. The fact that you pulled you him up, know, like I can baby. see your, I can see your mom not having watched Deliverance because you know she was probably like 30, 40 year old, didn't want to see a bunch of like you know. She was also probably taking care of kids in that, that time and, and shitty not kids it. too. I might have <laughs> shitty children, so she had a lot on her hands. Um, but your brother not knowing him from Superman, we need to get Jimmy I, back on this podcast. Yeah, it's unexcusable. Jimmy's invited to come back, and he was just in the town. I made the offer. Listen, I made the offer the other day. Tell that him to pick Jimmy a movie. was allowed to come over and pre eighty two, pre nineteen eighty two. That's what we're doing. Does he know any movies? No. I, I mean, he's more clueless than you. Oh, he's terribly clueless. Man, your family, man. What the? What did you guys do when you were kids? They weren't doing anything. They weren't playing sports. They weren't watching movies. They were playing with each other's puzzles. Listen, I watched a ton of movies. It just wasn't. You know, yeah, I was doing that too. But, but I wasn't watching war movies. Have you ever bopped your baloney? Movies. <laughs> what were you saying? I said, have you ever bopped your baloney? Bopped your baloney. <laughs> my baloney has been bopped so many times it's, it's done that's coming up next year right don't we do that in 83 we do yes um do you want to try mr morehouse's top four superman superman is in his top four deliverance deliverance is in his top four i don't think you're gonna get the next two shooter 
is that the name of the movie? Yeah. I've never even heard of that. I mean, yeah. it sounds like a million different movies. The other one but... you heard of, Network. Oh, Network. That's right. Yeah. His speech. He's in. Ne- he's not this guy. He's, he's not the mad as hell guy. He's not the mad as hell no, guy. No, no, no. But he does. He gives a speech. Does he? Man, yeah. I don't. Re- I've seen Network. I don't remember him it's, in Network. I know you're thinking of that mad as hell guy, yeah. but that's not the. Uh, I don't. I don't remember Ned Beatty's speech in that either. I'm trying to think. It, there's like a big long table. It's like in a. a uh, Speaking of long tables, which we call it the, the table that G, uh, that uh, Jackie Gleason. Oh on. god, that was awesome. <laughs> that and he pulls the every and everybody's like, oh, that's my that, that's my. I, my it would t- not have know. been that confusing to pull everybody's plates down. They made it a little more confusing than it was, obviously well, for the joke, for comedy. But effect, it was just but so fact fact funny that, he, that they. How many times did they do that going back? The and fact forth? that he's such a shit bird that he would like make <laughs> sixty people all shift their seats because he's too such fat an and lazy. Dude. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. <laughs> scooch in he's just gonna pull everything to him oh man i need that kind of money i need fuck all you people money i'm just gonna pull the table to me what's it uh, like to have that kind of money man. i don't know it didn't seem like it was all that good man he didn't he, like his wife was but uh, i tell you what the, was the meal that he was having didn't look that good either oh man <laughs> that's when soup that soup soup the soup is like, <laughs> jackie gleason's Oof! Like that, he did like six <laughs> times this movie. Every time he did it, I laughed. I was oof. That oof was great. You kept that was my for favorite it. line when uh, they found he, when the box came in, and he uh, <laughs> was just like, "What's in the box?" And then uh, the first just like it's just his toys, and then you hear, "Get me out of here!" And he's like, "Oof." <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell's wrapping a guy up like that for real? And you like, need to put packing peanuts. You need to packing put packing peanuts, peanuts in a, a, quarter, a quarter of the box. And I mean, how was he? You're not protecting him with those. And did peanuts. you see how he was in there? He was squatting. He wasn't he even came out, sitting. He came out. I was like, that would have ended my night. I would have been like, you guys, I guy, been you guys got, up. you guys just got to ice me down. There's like, no way that my legs are going to straighten out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ho- hopefully, Richard Pryor was only in that for like a minute, <laughs> and he snuck in the back, and they're like, come out the front. All those peanuts were all over. <laughs> that was just crazy. Like. The packing peanuts, does that mean they were going to flip him over? <laughs> that was to protect him from breaking his neck. <laughs> and then oh, uh, we had, uh, this was his uh, screen debut, Scotty Schwartz. He man, played he, Eric he's a, Bates, he's Master busy. Bates. He's a Master busy Bates. little beaver. He's going to be in Christmas Story next year. Yep. Uh, that's he's going to be in porn in a f- couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas uh, Story Story. His top four is the toy, a Christmas Story. Did you, you watched it, right? The Christmas Story story. Did you watch it? Yet? Oh no, no, I haven't seen it. Yet. Oh, I want to. I, 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 I do want to watch it. I watched it. it was it's fun. not Christmassy out enough. Yeah, it was like sixty degrees today. I can't watch Christmas stuff in <laughs> sixty degree weather. How do people in Florida and California? I don't do know, Christmas, but I watched man. it the other day. It was colder out the other it's day, weird. so it was okay. And it was dark. Dark. Dark seems helps. helps too. Yeah. <laughs> um, but his top four is the Toy Christmas Story, A Time to Live, ABC After School Specials, and Big. Black woman who love anal. Is that like? Is that really the nah, name of one? Of his? No, I was, like, I was like, is that the name of his porno? That's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if it's like, what's his name in Christmas Story? Flick. Uh, no, Flick was his other friend. Oh. He's uh, Schwartz. Schwartz. Schwartz plays. Wait, isn't his real name Schwartz? His real name is Schwartz, and he's so, yeah, Schwartz he in that Schwartz, too. Yeah. <laughs> one time, Maybe, I, is this porno like the sh- made the Schwartz be with at, you or something like that? I was at Chiller Theater. It's in Parsippany, New Jersey. And there's a list of names. You see, they give a list of names that are people that are going to be there. And I'm in line for somebody. I forget who I was in line for. And who the hell walks by me but Scotty Schwartz. He was not on the list. He was, he was just, just there? Just there hanging out. Wow. The one and only Scotty Schwartz. I don't know if Did I you talk to him. He walked by. I said, hello. And he walked by. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I saw him recently because I saw the commercial for uh, the Christmas Story Story. story. Yeah. And I, I don't think I'd recognize him if he walked by me. I, he, oh, I did. He, he I didn't saw, age well. I, I mean, nor, he, nor did I, but um, I wasn't doing porn, so. If you saw him, I think you would, yeah. I think yeah. you would notice him, yeah. I think you would recognize him and be like, Schwartz! <laughs> Does he have a, a big denis? He's short. Does he have a what? A big denis. Big Dennis? I think he was, doesn't want to say the word. Are we editing ourselves? Dick plus penis. Oh. I think you're going to have to Google it now. I think we're going to let you Google that. <laughs> I'm not going to have that in my search engine. No, not me or oh. you. Him. He wants to know. He gets to Google that. It's on his own time. <laughs> And he could talk to us about it at his own, at his leisure. <laughs> I, I, I would like to know the name of his porno. I hope they like factored in his name into that. Just like one night in Paris, like they you know they do that kind of shit. Yeah, you know, that's <laughs> not that I know what that is, but I've heard I've heard tell the story of a movie called that. 
Schwartz all over my tits. Uh, well, I was thinking maybe the Schwartz be with you. Or, uh, I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. I know that's a different movie. Than, I'm not related to this guy, but if it's your name, you, you put that in there. It kind of fits. It works. Mel Brooks would say, you take it. It's good. I'm fine Mel, with it. Mel, come on our podcast. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're it, man. You are the last man standing. He really is, man. And it's great. He's the best. He's the best one. Uh, and there's what aren't isn't there talk of space balls? Isn't that happening now? Uh, come on, it, I believe it's don't, happening. We don't need that. I let it happen. The only sequel we need Dude. is History of the World Part Two. Oh, that's what it's happening. That's what <laughs> is it's it really? happening. Yeah, Jews in space and Hitler on ice. There is something about History of the World Part Two. I think is actually happening. Yes, I am. That's gonna be fun. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> So where are we? Oh, Scotty Schwartz. Mel yeah. Brooks and Larry David together. That would be a good... Uh, Larry David's in it? No, I'm saying if to get them together oh. and could do that together, that would be a good combination. I'd, I'd, I'd like that. I would just like to sit down and hear those two guys talk. That would be fun. I got I got one more person for our uh, cast, and that's Teresa Ganzel. She's playing Fancy Bates. I know she's Cree Gretchen from Three's Company. That's all I know her That's from. not in her top four. She's no? still doing work today. She's in oh. uh, Home Economics, that show of Home Economics. With, uh, is that the one with... Uh, I don't know if Eric with Foreman's in that or not. Is oh, this, that one. Michelle's been watching I that. I don't know if it's that or not. Yes, that I is think it. I think it is it. Mm. What's the, the YouTuber. One, what's the one with um with uh Dennis from It's Always Sunny? He's got oh, a show. Oh, that was a school one. That, that well, that's, I was thinking Home, Ec- was in Home that Economics. Well. That's that something, was some, was it something. No, that was, was it like uh, AP, AP Bio. AP Bio. AP Bio. Okay, yeah. okay. I was getting my. That was also had Pat and Oswald in. That oh, was that was that really good from what I heard. That it was got really, canceled. Yeah, yeah, I never saw it. I think it was three or four seasons, something like that. Oh, really? I would have thought like three or four episodes. God, man, time just keeps flying. And I think is it isn't uh. Then isn't uh, Howerton, isn't he on uh, Mythic Quest? No. Howerton, I haven't seen him on No, there. it's just Mac. I think Charlie's he might be, he might be on this season then. Mac uh, and, and Cricket's on there. Cricket's, uh, and never, but Charlie's a producer. Charlie's I, he's a producer, been in no never, episodes. I think, Glenn might, I think uh, Glenn might be on it this season because he's talked about being on set when oh, on the uh, uh, podcast. So It is weird uh, that they haven't been on yet. Their podcast is really fun, dude. <laughs> better than this? Oh, way better than this. <laughs> really? No. Nah. Oh, I was hurt that you said no, that. It was really kind of like, what? Although they do have really comfortable chairs. Yeah. Listen, I'm working on it. I, I, I have chairs eyeball that work that I'm just going to steal. I have just I think my butt pillow here is all pushed in. It's not it's not as comfortable as it used to I be. I think that was the name of Scotty Schwartz's uh, <laughs> porno. I think my butt pillow is Like, think about it. Like, in. you could be sitting there, and then the mic will be coming out of the chair. You have the big arm and it'll just swing. We need like we need like we need like, oh, uh, yeah. I mean? like, we need like Joey and Chandler chairs where we're just like yeah. leaning back, and, and we'll have everything right there, all at the ready. That, that sounds. We'll, good. We got to get a great, a crazy soundboard. I want a soundboard for when you come back from this sixteen-week <laughs> sabbatical you're going on. <laughs> I don't remember approving this. I didn't. He said he was it. going on a cruise. I didn't know that meant a month. It's eighteen days. That's a long fucking. That really time, doesn't make dude. sense. The cruise is eight days. You That's said. a long. That, I mean, eighteen days. You're saying that like it's only eighteen <laughs> days. No one goes on eighteen day vacations in America in 2022. People are lucky to get a, a long weekend. Like I'm taking a long weekend. I'm taking Friday off. You're taking literally a month and a, a half you're, a month off. Your wife said you're coming back month. like the week of Christmas. Like, oh, he can podcast on Christmas Eve. I'm like, yeah, because everybody's gonna be doing that. I'm gonna have. 500 fucking yeah. people in this house on Christmas Eve. I'm not podcasting that. I'm not podcasting I'm, I'm either. Unless, like we, a week unless we get his Christmas. mom to do Tootsie. That's the only way we're doing it. Oh, if your yeah. mom does Tootsie. Oh, yeah. My mom will way. be here on Christmas Eve, but we can't podcast on Christmas Eve. Not on Christmas Eve. Eve. No, I, maybe I don't want to do that. Uh, we might be able to do it on Christmas Day. <laughs> uh, what movies are coming out Christmas Day? I was thinking of going to the movies oh. if anybody's interested. I love going to the movies on Christmas Day. Oh, really? I saw Godfather 3 on Christmas Day. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it was a long time <laughs> That's ago. a rough one. That might be the last one I saw on Christmas Day. Um. So wait a minute. About you were saying, fancy. She's been on the yeah. Shit. Fancy Bates. Her top four was uh, the Toy, the Duck Factory, the Tonight Show, and Fresno. So her top four was not. But she was uh, greedy Gretchen on Three's but Company. One other yeah. thing that she's been in recently: Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Oh, yeah. I watched half of that. What was she in Chippendale? I didn't write it down. I just wrote that she was in it. I didn't write down what it was. Oh, so yeah, dude, that's like not writing down what video game is in. The All right, movie well this this is me. <laughs> this is me with not a full week, and you wanted to do it on Sunday. I would not have had any of this. It would have been a horrible podcast, dude, if you did this on Sunday. So you but, did put um, a lot of work into. Thank it. God, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> So talk to me, guys. I, I mean, what do you think of the movie? I mean, I, I that's it I have for the cast. 
unless you wanted to add anybody from the cast, if there was anybody that you saw. I looked up some of the other people. And there wasn't anybody well, that um, had any, anything that was like Rocky's uh, or uh, Apollo Creed's trainer he's was the was was the Cliff, lawyer no, or whatever he was. He was, Clifford, the other he was guy, yeah. Stanley. He was Stanley. doing the he was doing the aerobics. Yep. That he oh, when he's he, like, he was telling him to get out of here. Yeah, and and, here, yeah all the aerobics people are like get out, get out, get out. That was Rocky's or Apollo's. Trainer. That was brilliant. Get out. Yeah. Get out. I noticed him <laughs> as soon as he popped in. I'm like, is he in this movie? And then. That's he was it. never in it again. That was it. He just had. Was a, that the Rocky I watched? Yeah, he was in this corner. He was. Uh, he wait. He was in Rocky's corner. What did we watch? Three. Three. Yeah, because he's Apollo's main trainer in a in Rocky one and two, oh. and then he's he's bald. He, com- he comes. He's, he comes he's with. <laughs> he comes with Apollo to train Rocky in Rocky three, and then spoiler alert. But when Apollo dies in Rocky what? four. He's Rocky's main trainer. What? He's the one that goes to Russia with him and Paulie. Oh. Back it up, boy. Whoa, 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 Boop. whoa. Boop. What? What? Boop. what? what? <laughs> so anyway, what? he's in the Apollo aerobics Creed. place. Did you know he died? No, I only <laughs> ever saw one Rocky movie. No, you said you saw four, right? Isn't that oh, you oh saw? I did. I did see the one where he died. Where they go to Russia. Yeah. Yeah, that's he his gets trainer. He killed in the uh, exhibition. Drago Matt. gets punched. Drago, Drago punches him I think so James hard. Brown kills him. Wait. Jane. James Brown. Living in America. There's another one for you to edit out. Get doxed. <laughs> <laughs> um, at the beginning of this, Richard Pryor's riding his bike to, I guess, look for a job. When uh-huh. he gets in line with, the, and everybody's like, "Yeah, oh, at the car this, wash." Like, this is the front of the line. Like the back of the line's over there. But he oh, goes the over. Car wash, yeah. He goes over a train track, <laughs> not noticing that there's a train coming. He oh, runs in front train. of a bus. He had the headphones yeah, yeah. On. I was yeah, like, yeah. just because you have headphones on does not mean you don't have peripheral vision. Like the fact that he is blinded to the fact that the there's curb. a train when coming. He went off the curb, everything. Yeah, he was just like, <laughs> and it was those not... tiny headphones yeah. too. Oh, you I love those old those everything. old school Sony Walkman headphones. So oh, yeah, could, it was just barely covered your your ear hole. Ear hole. But that was just great as he's riding along. I'm like, did, does he not know that you can look from side to side? <laughs> Especially when you're riding a bike with headphones on. You might want to be aware of your surroundings. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Some goofs, uh, the video game noises weren't matching the video game that was being play- being was, shown at the time. When like he, would, when, 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 uh, when they were Eric playing, was playing. Yeah, when they were the, showing the video game. Was it Tempest? I was really trying to check out what game um, he was he's playing. He playing and- Asteroids at one point. Can you tell me <sighs> you how You can't many- ask that. Listen, I looked hard. I was like, is that Tempest? I'm looking at the game. I looked I, it up. I got a I go- question. Why can't he ask that? I Googled it because, because he can't ask what video game it was and not have the answer. Oh, okay. No. You're, I you're have missing a question context. For you. you said that arcade machine they had there. And we were all like, yeah. He's like, yeah. what was that? When your son was <laughs> over the other day and he was defending me, I said, listen to it. And I played it. And he, and he agreed. He was like, you ask them. You didn't say you, oh. your ask didn't sound at all like you knew the answer. He's he's getting your son pitted against <laughs> you. I mean, I guess obviously we should know that Brian never knows the answer to anything he says. So he's like, video game. We should be like, yeah, yeah. He I have a video game answer. question for you guys. Though. He's but playing asteroids at one that point. That was the like when you sh- they showed a screen where he's, he's playing, playing asteroids like, where you mm, see the okay. circles and it's yeah, like, it was it was tough to see what was going okay. on. There. Asteroids two. Asteroids. What was his score? Oh, that he had. I don't even know what game it was. Was it 1982? Was the, it 666? The score that was he had 69? was 3,790 was points. Wow. I was, if anybody saw it. That's, I, no, I, I, was, I was too busy trying to actually find out what game he was playing. It didn't look like typical and, and I, Asteroids. No, it did not. That's why like, I dismissed Asteroids. And it's I was Asteroids. Like, hmm. Um... I'm just looking at the things here. He mentioned the boxing robot does not hit Jack in the groin. Um, The first time Jack knocks down the dominoes, the dominoes fall up in some area. And one of the areas that dominoes go up. But didn't he have like uh, a salmon ladder kind of thing? But they fall up, up? but it was supposed to thing is it's matched. It goes down because it's supposed to go down and then it goes from there. They go reverse. Those go up. But the thing continues this way. So would they have like a, the film playing backwards or something Messed like up that? Something, or? yeah. There was some a, a mess. That was one under goofs. Like she un, when she unstraps herself from that uh, exercise uh, exercise. Was bed. that exercise that thing that yeah. was ridiculous? <laughs> but um, there's three. She straps. had gigantic camel toe in that. By the way, when she was yes. upside down, as soon as he walks out, I was like, "Hello." <laughs> 
She there's says, three straps. Is no gonna point this out? <laughs> there's three straps to the bed. She only unders two and then starts walking. That's one of the goofs. Ah, but how old do you mm. think Fancy Bates is? Teresa Ganzel is. How old is she supposed to be? How old is she in real life? You already told me. I already told Brian. I apologize. <laughs> Slipped out. I'm gonna say she is <laughs> 25. Brian, how old is Greedy Gretchen? She's 25. Really? Yeah. Nice. How old were her boobs? And <laughs> her boobs were amazing. And my favorite line of the whole movie is like, "How when he when uh, Eric says like, uh, she's like, she got me a new face and the new boobs." And he's like, "What did your old boobs look like?" <laughs> <laughs> and you just see Richard Pryor like, <laughs> uh, "Oh, that's so good." <laughs> you ass. You ass. At the very end, he's like, "You ass," and he's like. You ass. You earned it. Like, he's allowed to call him you ass. <laughs> In Scotty Schwartz's biography, he said the hardest thing about this movie was working with Jackie Gleason because he said mm. that uh, Jackie. Really? Was he a dick? No, he just said he was really hard. He didn't memorize his lines and he would ad lib and it was hard to work off that because he didn't know what was coming and he was just a kid. He's not going to be able to. Yeah, that's that. tough. He's not going to be able to How work old with... was he? The like kid? Like uh, he was He was playing. He was 14. So he was like nine. Yeah, yeah. And what? So Jackie Gleason was 71 when he died in He was like 62 66 in 66 or so? 62 or 65? Well, he died in 87 and 71, yeah. so this is 5 years early, so he was 66. So he's got a 9-year-old. And which wife was that? The one that was in Colorado it wasn't Springs? Fancy. The one that was going to go to Colorado yeah, Springs? Yeah, was that the one that he was like bad mouthing in front of Eric? Was well, he, he's, right? he, when they were like, telling him how they met, <laughs> he's like, he had just dropped, she goes, he had just dropped No Road Deuce off at Colorado <laughs> Springs, where I'm going soon. So is he just like yeah, shuffled like up off goes. to like, is there some kind of insane asylum for he's got like wives He's got like some sort of like program there where he just puts and sends him there. Can you uh, clear everything out from the last three years and send her back? So he was 57 when he had Eric. Yeah. A lot of people were saying that he should have been the grandfather. He should have been the grandfather. The, uh... And you know what? One of the biggest problems I have with this movie is that at no point does this kid do anything to earn Jackie Brown because when he gets introduced when he's at the ad agency trying to get a job they say Jackie Brown Miss Jackie Brown <laughs> but he does nothing to earn his love no, and then at one point he's like I love you Jack and he's like I love you too Eric I'm like based on what yeah. and then like it was fast <laughs> and then there's nothing earned between Jackie US and Eric US and Eric because is there a Muppet? This, these microphones are bouncing around. I don't like know what Muppet happened. Arms. All of a sudden, I saw Brian like my mic is falling. You speak for like a minute every episode, he, and but he actually was speaking a lot this time too. Can we? You'll just you'll just erase this part anyway, right? So, we'll but, I was, back <laughs> yeah, but I was back. But I was and he was speaking po- waxing poetic. I, was, I don't. So, I don't erase these parts. So, um, <laughs> the fact that Jackie, do you know Gleason, how to do this? <laughs> Yes, because that's going to bother me, and it's. I, I'm trying to hear Andy's story here. Just, just talk, and I'll do it. Should I? Because every time I talk, Jason gets distracted by you doing the thing with the mic. Because he's like, "Don't make me say it." No rush. We'll be here all night. <sighs> but why does Jackie Gleason? Uh, he's only got this kid for one week, week yep. a year, and he's barely seeing him, and he's barely. He's, Paying off, like everybody He's, else is going. He also to has do, that German. Uh, yeah, the, the one who's watching Hitler movies in her. Yeah, room. what's that all about? And, and the then, old and man then quoting Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> I know I nothing. The <laughs> um, <laughs> why does he even care? Like, he's like, I love you. Like, at the end, he's like, I want my son's love. Like, based on what? Like, the kid hasn't earned it. Nor, like. And also, what. All he's done is shit on you. He's a who, shitty kid. Like, ja- that's Jackie Gleason fault, can't just automatically give it another week. Yeah. I mean, like you're a billi- that's gotta go to the courts, you're doesn't a, it? You're a plutocrat or a goofy crat, whatever the hell you are. Like you should be like, I want my kid all the time. If you want your kid, you can you can buy the kid. You can tell the the first wife or the third wife or whatever it is, I will give you a million dollars. I want the kid. He doesn't really want the kid. He's fancy just, wanted nothing to do with him. Yeah, no. fancy didn't. 
And I like how at the end he says, and from now on, you're going to have two weeks, <laughs> one with me and I, one with Jack. Did you talk to the lawyers about that? The mom might not exactly. want that. Or I'm what gonna, about Jack? What about Richard Pryor? Maybe he doesn't want to <laughs> hang out with this you, kid. You one said week you said you listened to this podcast back when you edit it, right? Uh huh. I just said that. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Maybe that's why I just popped into my head. He was too busy. Did I just say around it? with the mic? I, 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 might, I might be wrong, but did I just say it? Yeah, I think I did. I, I maybe, thought maybe I didn't. Maybe we thought, thought maybe for a thought second I thought maybe I did not say. It. Maybe we thought you said. It. I, I think I was working on the mic. <laughs> Let's blame it on that. <laughs> um, the reason that Richard Pryor doesn't get a job originally at the newspaper when uh, he's interviewing with Ned Beatty is they don't hire blacks. <laughs> I was like, they can't possibly be a policy <laughs> that this paper has in 1982, right? Yeah, no. I mean, they can't. They can't say that out loud. That that was like the underlying racism in this, including Fancy's line. Um, I ever think I wrote it down. Oh, there's a real life black man. In the house. <laughs> <laughs> there's a real, life black, which is weird because you would have thought they would have had like a lot of black. Like maids and shit, but everybody was white. Everybody else was no, white. No, but they did that. Uh, the that, whole that maid was at service his work at the and work stuff yeah, like that. But right. at the house, you had the old man who was hilarious. Yeah. Like <laughs> just, Barkley. just yeah, Barkley. Barkley yeah. Like he was one of those guys. Like as soon as I saw him, I'm like I know him from something else. But I think I just know him from the you toy. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I looked at his IMDb and there was Buck nothing. Rogers, else. you remember from? Yeah, Buck but he was in like, like yeah, yeah not, Columbo and Battlestar like, Galactica. He was, like he, was one of, he was one of those guys you'd see in something, but you he was not in everything, that, but you know? never in enough to make a impression. So I, I was like, just like the, no. uh, there, there's a picture behind Ned Beatty in his office, and it's actually his high school graduation photograph. I thought that was. Like when Ned Beatty, yeah, so is it really? I, oh, I, didn't cool. I like that, that when they get their old pictures of them as kids and uh-huh. they use them. I think that's fun. I don't know. That was so when uh, when Richard Pryor is sitting in the stuffed animals, like lamenting his now life, and he's like, you know, you you, you don't know what's going on. Like he's talking to the stuffed animals. He's like, you don't know what's going on. He's like, do you know what's going on, Panda? Do you know what's going on, Camel? Do you know what they show when he says Panda and Camel? Not panda and cow. They show like a uh, polar bear and a unicorn. I was like, <laughs> why don't they link up the actual animal? Because he's saying it, and they focus on the stuffed animal. Is that supposed and to be then, a joke? Because then they he, and he's like, "What about you, giraffe?" And then they show a giraffe. So I'm like, did they not know what a cow <laughs> looked like? And they just showed a unicorn. And they're like, ah, it's close enough. It was just so weird that he because he's. You know, he's it's the camera's just on him, but then when he starts turning his head, he's like, What about you, Camel? <laughs> what about you? Was the other thing, Panda? And they show other animals. I'm like, Why did you just say the things that I were not, actually? I did there? not notice that, but that is just, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, uh, when Richard Pryor is in the toy store and he's playing fo- uh, fake football with the mannequin, oh, yeah, yeah, and he yeah, yells yeah. out John Matuzak. He did say John Matuzak. That's right. He it's did funny say that. that he says John Matuzak because in just a few years, in 1985, John Matuzak would be in a movie that's directed by Richard Donner, and that movie is The Goonies. Whoa! You know who uh, John Matuzak is in The Goonies? No. He plays. Think. Think about it. He plays. Think about who he, yeah, I was, he can only yeah. play one person. Oh. An ex-football player can only play yep. one person in the Goonies. And Andy's never actually watched all of the Goonies. But I've seen and he's got, all the parts. And he's got one of the best lines <laughs> that I use to this day is, Andy, <laughs> you <laughs> Goonie. <laughs> is he talking to a girl? He's talking point? to a girl. Andy, that Andy, Andy, a girl? With a girl. Andy with an eye. That's one of the movies I watched <laughs> twice in the theater. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen it all the way through. I've I'm never surprised. sat and watched yeah. the whole thing all the way through. I've seen the beginning. I've seen the end. I've it's seen fun. parts of the middle. It's just a fun movie, I think. Yeah, just, that's a great yeah. movie. I'm sure it is. I'm not downplaying. I'm just saying. That's. Never, I guess that's another one that I saw in the theater. And then as soon as it came out to like rent, it was like a heavy video store rental one, getting the VHS copy Maybe of Maybe we that should line. rename this podcast Watching Movies for the First Time with Andy. That would be the only movie they. Well, no, that's not true. I mean, I never saw uh, uh, Conan, Conan, and the uh, the horror one with Kevin. That uh, oh, uh, Slumber Party Massacre. I wanted to say Slumdog Millionaire, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> that's yeah, a few sl- years from now. <laughs> Slumber Party Massacre. There are a few I've never seen before. I don't remember now. I don't remember if I saw Beastmaster before or not. I don't think I ever saw Beastmaster before. That's either. why you didn't like it. Oh, it was terrible. 
because I watch it a thousand times. Terrible. Beastmaster, you gave that a high score, didn't you? I did. For I him. that movie. <laughs> no, he gave that one a real high score. <laughs> give a high score for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't ever mention his, uh, his biological mom. We never find out who 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 she is. So that's it. So she's not then that means she's not numero dose because numero dose they mention. She's just at Colorado Springs. Yeah. Or when when they met, when so Fancy then, met UAC. So then it was he was probably with number one then. That's gotta be I mean Right. Hmm. He's she's nine he's the, nine in this, right? At his age, he's gotta be on weight number like five. Yeah. But and still unless he didn't marry until he was late in life. And still, one of the funniest parts, and I remember this from when I watched it as a kid, every time they went to the lake. Every single time. The piranha scene? Yeah, oh, I yeah. crack up at that piranha scene. That is scene so stupid. Because, he, so ridiculous. first of all, he's barely into the water. Then they show him all the way across the lake as he's running out and that's on not really top a, of the water. That's not really a out. lake. That's like one of those reservoir runoff kind of it was things. Almost it's like, got yeah. like the concrete sides and stuff like that i was like that's not really a lake it's just like the rainwater from the day before but something. he told him then uh he, he warned him he did and i wonder like, if you asked had it them like, uh it was just flown perfectly in. cut out yes. every hole on his <laughs> yeah. shirt someone took pants. that shirt folded it in half and cut a bunch of holes and then paper dolled it <laughs> when they're uh discussing when uh when uh Eric asks him if he ever mated with his girl and stuff like that, and they're on the cabin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, said, he's nine, too. Nine. <laughs> and Richard Pryor is wearing like Larry Bird era short shorts. Like they are like <laughs> barely, I'm like, wow, he is showing. And the socks are up. Tons the socks of way leg. Up too, right? yeah. Tons of leg. Like there is six inches from the knee to his, <laughs> the bottom of his shorts. I was like, that is a lot of Richard Pryor right there. He better watch out. Nothing falls out from above. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. As soon as he walked on the screen, I was like, wow. <laughs> that scene at the end, the uh, the party, the, the the senator with the KKK. Yes. And the wife had some, or Richard Pryor's wife or girlfriend, She her van said like Clan Watch or something yeah, they like were that like, on uh, there. They were like, uh, I guess they uh, would uh, break up like Clan meetings and stuff like that. Is that something whatever. that like a I mean, black they were, person they, has to worry about? They have to have like Louisiana, in, in, in the South. Too, and, yeah. yeah. You have to worry about like the clan just being a thing. Like those guys were not hiding the fact that there were clan members at that party. Like, hey, this is my friend from the clan. Be like, God damn. Dude, I, and what, and show the, some discretion. Jackie, you are so proudly a racist. Jackie just, Gleason says to he said, I thought we were keeping that quiet. Well, Jackie Gleason does, but yeah. when he introduces I know, he, his <laughs> clan buddy, he was just like all out in the open about it. I was like, okay. I guess that's how it is in their family. And when he's driving his uh uh, What'd golf cart when they're driving the motorcycles through the party and stuff like that, and and Jackie Gleason's flooring his golf cart, which is going probably six miles an hour oh, or something and, like that. Uh, when he, and he drives on double, well, he drives <laughs> it into the pool. I'm like, you know, this is a real easy way to stop a golf cart. Just take your foot <laughs> off, off the, the accelerator, yeah. and it'll almost automatically stop. Yeah. You don't even have to hit the brake; it'll just cut the battery power, and you're just going to stop. Instead, he full on drives it into the pool, gives a good oof, <laughs> and just hits those balloons, and has the wherewithal underwater to say, "You dirty son of a bitch!" And he says, "What do you say?" I can't, I, can't hear you. Hear you. <laughs> I can't swim and then he stands up yeah <laughs> yeah i can't swim how can you not swim in like growing up in the south you but would right think, then like, and that there too like that, that changed over. everything because then he said i'm gonna hire you yeah yeah well <laughs> there are a lot of plot points they're like it's, man, it's, in this it's movie. like we want to end this at an hour and 39 we got to hurry up you know what i mean they're like <laughs> yeah they, they, they along with the children or, or Eric having no connection to his Eric. dad and no connection to uh, Jack. J- I love you. You know, <laughs> th- this movie had no ending either. It was just kind of like, you know what? You saved my life. I'm going to hire you. It's like, yeah, but and you're going to spend I, a week with my kid I, next year. I, I fucked up your part. <laughs> like I messed up your clan rally party with the senator. Yeah, that, like they never, that's like, that, did that yeah. still continue on to afterwards? Like the next day, wasn't he getting indicted? Yeah, he said but that. He's FBI, like, federal right? or yeah. state? Federal, yeah. like, feds. He's, he's like, like oh, federal, nice. huh? He's kind of like, <laughs> I would have loved to have been at that party. He's been like the guy at the bar watching this all happen. Being like, well, I'm not leaving. I got I got a drink. It's an open <laughs> bar. I'm just going to stay here and watch. <laughs> 
So, Andy, did you get any uh, Siskel and Ebert? Uh... I, I did not find an Ebert. I found a Siskel. It was a very poor, but it wasn't, there was nothing. I have a Siskel thing, too. Yeah, there was nothing fun about it. It was just like Jackie Gleason was going through the motions, blah, blah, blah. What I did get, I, I did get something I got fun. something different then. Mine says, uh, Pryor seems in chains in this movie, and he rarely breaks out for more than a second or two. Gleason, 66, looks remarkably good, but he's just presiding over his performance. He gave it a two out of four. Yeah, that's what I saw. I didn't. I, I felt like it wasn't. That I, exciting, I wanted yeah. someone ripping on it, like when yeah. Roger Ebert gave whatever we watched a zero, zero. and he said basket I, case, right? No, no, no. Something more recent than that. It was maybe First Blood or Death Wish Two. Might have been where, Death Wish where he was too, just yeah. like this is, this is an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did find out is that Michael Jackson, the Michael Jackson, attempted to From the Simpsons. <laughs> He was, uh, <laughs> God damn, what was his name in that? It's been a long time since I've seen that episode. He was Michael Jackson, remember? That was one of the first ones. Yeah, but he had a different name. He was under an assumed name in that. Lisa, it's your birthday. Yeah, that one. Happy birthday, Lisa. My 30-year-old self is really hating myself for not remembering what his name was in that. Speaking of 30-year-old self, I was thinking, in 2082, someone's going to be watching movies from- 1982 and saying like oh my god these movies are 100 years old i wonder if there's a podcast out there that does movies from 1982 i want to listen to that and that guy (laughs) is gonna find our podcast because these will never go away and we're all gonna be like dead for for decades at that point and he's gonna be saying like my voice right now he's hearing in nine in 2082 (laughs) reviewing toy the toy and i'm dead He's listening to a dead man right now. That's crazy. I was driving home thinking about that today and almost had a pull over. I was having a pull over to cry. I was having an experience. <laughs> I was like, don't listen to my dead voice, please. That's Can- an existential uh, crisis. crisis. Yeah. Um, Leon Kompowski. Leon. Leon. Okay. Uh, Michael Jackson attempted to write the theme song for the film and a possible soundtrack in 1981, wow. but did not complete it due to his commitments working on the album Thriller. Wow. Jackson man. would con- uh, continue to rework the track throughout his career, rename it. I don't know what track it is, How- but what? renaming that it. Changed this movie completely. I am your joy <laughs> yeah. and eventually best of joy. I, I don't know that song at all. A version uh, recorded in 2008 was remixed uh, and released on the posthumous Michael album in 2010. Very interesting, though. I had no idea of that. That's spoiler. That's Michael cool. Jackson died oh, yeah. in 2009, <gasps> I think. Right? Or 08? Why, Michael? Why? I don't know. He died on the same day Farrah Fawcett died. I, I think he was that. as old. Yeah. He was like a year. He was like 51 or something. Yeah, like Farrah that. Fawcett yeah. died early, uh, early in the day, and then. Uh, that afternoon That's is when right. Michael Jackson uh, news broke. He shit all over her. That's yeah. like one of those days I'll always remember because I took my kids to the uh, St. Greg Festival in uh, Hamilton that day, too. I remember we were driving to it talking about Michael Jackson dying. And I was like, doesn't anybody care about Farrah Fawcett? <laughs> doesn't anybody care about her? Because she, she get, she's getting no love tonight. <laughs> she's very popular. And yeah. I mean, and Michael she Jackson. Very, she was very young, though, too. Well, so was he. Yeah. But Michael Jackson I mean, obviously, Michael Jackson died from drug overdose, and, and she, died like she died of ass from, cancer uh, or something like that. Was it something yeah. like that? But I mean, it Michael Jackson or something like that. Michael Jackson's yeah. career well, obviously. Oh yeah, he definitely. He definitely. Decades. He, Hers was like Charlie's Angels for a couple months. And the headline: and the If they both die in a plane crash, Michael Jackson yeah. takes the headline over her. But it's like course. she probably would have been like, "Yo, man, can't I? she should have died the day before?" Yeah, she would have had it all to herself. Like those people that died on September tenth, twenty 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 two thousand one, like. The next day, people are like, my mom died last night. Well, like, no, that's like, dude, when the- did you fucking see the news today? Who gives a <laughs> fuck that your mom Remember, died? Well, my somebody died up, but they lived, uh, they died nine <laughs> eleven, but they died. They lived upstate. <laughs> he, lived, <laughs> he was uh, riding his bike. Up in, <laughs> He's uh, a survivor on one hundred thirty fifth Street. <laughs> that's actually a plot point in uh, the TV show The Leftovers, because you know that, that in that show, like two percent of the population like disappears. For no reason, and you know everybody's dealing with that. And Liv Tyler's mom like died the day before, and no one's given her any uh, love. Yeah. She's like, my mom died, and everybody's like, fucking uh, <laughs> two million people died, or whatever the number is. You know, <laughs> no one cares about your one your one single mom. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. So lesson learned: don't die 
the day before tragedy or the day of or an on old, the day of or the day of a celebrity that's bigger than you know where you are in the rank i mean like, i'm a c-lister right, right, i'm not dying before look, the day right of now, an a-lister you are you do have content out there you are content creators so you are i'm technically, an f i'm f-list we are f-list <laughs> celebs yeah and i mean no one's died recently i mean if i died right now i'd be Number two mentioned yeah, tomorrow besides we already, behind like we you know Larry the, that got hit by a car on one thirty today. <laughs> we already made like, the pack. There will be one more podcast episode if one of us dies. There's one episode. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's one episode after of the two people that are still alive <laughs> to and say this is the last one. It, yeah, to talk about the other person. Be no, like, we don't even talk. We just say um, Jason or whoever says their names, and the two people say their names, and that's it. And then they talk about whatever movie it was, and they say, "Oh yeah, you, you might notice that uh, Brian's not here that's tonight." It. Yeah. We say, yeah, oh, yeah, he this, fell off his oh, yeah, this is our last podcast. Ship. Brian's dead. This is our last podcast. <laughs> it's, and, it's, of course, if Brian dies, our podcast is going out to no one. Yeah, we don't, we'll be sitting get... here talking to the mic. Being like, hey, what is anybody picking this up? Like, where's that little blue machine then, he used then, to then, have? Then you just see little old me coming over. It's like they're seen out. They just go down in the basement and they look at each other and they stare at each other and they just talk. I'm going to be at Brian's thing, funeral you know? and I'll, I'm going to sidle up next to Christine and be like, um, yeah, uh, that little machine that Brian used for podcasting. Um, what are you doing with that? Like, did Brady take it? Did Connor you, take it? Can like, I maybe borrow it for a little while? Do you know where the instructions are? <laughs> Can you uh, let me borrow that? And then anybody that might know how to work it. There was a manual that comes with this. <laughs> um, why don't we give some scores? What do you think? Does that sound like something you want to do, Andy, or no? We usually do that, right? So who wants to go sure first? I, like, I, I... I'll go first this time. I have a score. Okay. And I'm giving it a 72. Whoa. I was going to give it a 70. Whoa. And I was like, you know what? It deserves a little more. You were going to give it a 70, but you gave it a 72 instead? Yeah. Just a little extra. And wow. So this, this has a rewatchability factor? It definitely has rewatchability, yeah. I mean, not right away, but I forgot how much I liked it. So you said uh, earlier. I don't know if you said it on the podcast or not that you were quoting it. Was that something you said on the podcast? I can't remember if you said that on the podcast or not. Oh yeah, it was. You did. Right, well, I, you said I, it twice now. I said that <laughs> that uh, <laughs> as I was watching it, I could I, I could silently. It was coming back to I you, knew yeah. the lines. Yeah, yeah. I nice. watched this movie a lot when I was young, and now as an adult, like I remember when I was young watching this, and like the kid parts. With Richard Pryor, I was like, that that's what I cared about. I remember being like, yeah. oh, like the kids interacting with Richard like Pryor. In, I like uh, that. Like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate so, Factory. Something like that. But now as I'm watching it, all I cared about was like the Richard Pryor, Jackie Gleason parts. I'm like, there needs to be more of that. Uh, I don't think I enjoyed this as much now as I enjoyed it as a kid. But I think it's still a good movie. I give it a 60. I, I think like – I. I I definitely have so much nostalgia about this movie. I watched it a million times when I was young, and I have a completely different outlook on it now. I, I liked it. I liked it. I didn't love it. Maybe someday I'll watch it again. If I'm re, if I'm going to do a Richard Pryor re rewatch, this is in it. Yep. But I'm watching Bruce's Millions and Stir Crazy and Silver Streak and Moving Out, Moving Out, and Live on Sunset. Is it Strip moving first. or moving out? It might just be moving. Moving. It just might be moving. Yeah. So I, 60, I, right? I am uh, a little 60. higher than you, Andy, a little more higher than you. I gave it an 80. Um, yeah, I, I really like this movie as it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you had a second of applause there. <laughs> um, rewatchability. I would definitely watch this again. I would love to watch it in a group setting. I think it would be fun uh, watching it with some people uh, just to make the jokes with each other. You know what I mean? Um. It's not my favorite prior. It's not my favorite Scotty Schwartz, but together. <laughs> Is know, the porno your favorite not, Scotty Schwartz? Not, not, no, I, favorite. Re I, I wanted to like this so much more. I like As I was watching, I was like, man, I thought I liked this more. Like I was laughing. I think Andy's I was, losing it a little no, bit. No, no, no. I really but do. I I re like the, the clue. 
end with this now? I mean, <laughs> the, the Eric and Jack stuff, I just didn't care about as much. I was just like, the Jack the, stuff, the, there's, there's some fun moments between them, especially like keep dumping the same stuff on yeah, them. The, that, tu- the tub stuff was funny, I think, when, she, when the, the Frauli, Frauli, Frau, Frauline, Frauline, whatever her name is, she was like, she's like, get out, get out. Uh, by, by the way, there's no way she's really German because her accent changed like 10 times yeah. during this movie. It was like us doing a German accent. You know, half the time you're like, oh, was I supposed to be doing that in German? Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but I give it an 80. I would watch it again in the group setting, have fun, you know. So let's set that up. I, I, I'd, <laughs> I'd like you, because I saw it. I looked it up just to see, like, what the critic, uh, when I was looking up Siskel's review. So I went to Rotten Tomatoes. Did you write the Rotten Tomatoes well, score? I have down? it. Yeah, I'm going to give that. Right. So I had that. Okay, good. But first, I'm, I'm, gonna glad, give- I'm glad you're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the critics' consensus first. Do the audience first. I want to do critics' consensus was a sentence that, that was about it. It said. Oh, okay. A muddled and unfunny collision of two comedic titans. The toy is unsuitable for children or anyone else seeking entertainment. <laughs> unsuitable for children? I mean, like, because they talk about making it at I one think they time, just said or? it's, no, because they said, or anyone else seeking entertainment. They're saying it's not suitable for anybody. Hmm. It's uh, not a good movie, is what they're saying. The audience gave it a 53. Okay. The critics. <laughs> I know the score. <laughs> Andy, tell me what the critics gave this. They gave this a three. What? A three. Yeah. I saw that. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with that score? A That's three. crazy. A three. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. Audience 53, which is, I, I, I could see that. Yeah. It makes oh, yeah. sense. This is neither Richard Pryor nor Jackie Gleason's best movie, for not sure. At all. It's probably not even their second best it's movie. It's not even but, Scott's. But, but, but it's. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas story, story then the porno, and then and then, then this, and then the toy. <laughs> um, but there's certainly enough fun in this to, and to say it's not family friendly, like I don't no, know. I, like, I think that is just saying that the whole movie is not good. Nobody should watch it. I don't think it's saying that it's not suitable for like it's underage. Hmm. You know, I think it's saying that it's just a bad movie. Although the way Jackie right. Gleason pronounces asshole, I've never heard anybody pronounce it. You asshole. asshole. Like, I've never that heard that for so, And he did it like three so times. So crazy. The ashtray. <laughs> That's not an ashtray, you asshole. <laughs> Almost like a question. <laughs> Hole. <laughs> Do we know what we're doing uh, next year? Because somebody's gone on a sabbatical. Apologize that there's not going to be many podcasts coming out in the next we few weeks. We got like at least three more 1982 movies. Maybe we bust them all out and release them but, um, within a week at the end of this year before we start 83. There's no way we could record and you could, and send to you. There's no way we could do ah, that. Right? We need I mean, Brian part of it. We can't yeah, do that. Can we Zoom? Can we tough. Zoom from your cruise? I, I didn't get the Wi-Fi package. All I want to do is bang a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. What? It, how much is this, uh, the Wi-Fi package? Uh, twenty nine dollars a day Ooh, for, for both of Christ. us, which would be sixty bucks a day. You, you, you can't just get it for yourself because they know you're exactly. like, can I use your yeah. phone? Or? You want to get it for the one day and we'll do podcast. <laughs> <laughs> did you get the drink package? I, we actually did do the you, drink. You package, did the drink right? package. They're going with people that like to party. So yeah. now, so now all your drinks are included. Is, is that what that is? Yeah, we did. I did do the premium. Like normally, when you buy with celebrity, if you buy the cruise, you get the drink package. Mm-hmm. But since we got this cruise as complimentary, then we have to buy. Are you, are you going to m- his wife is a degenerate gambler are you going to they m- say they got it complimentary because she spent like seven thousand dollars <laughs> in a slot machine oh i got a free cruise and and this debt of they're gonna break are my you going fingers. to Ma- mazatlan mazatlan no no uh, <laughs> mazatlan good okay. pull man <laughs> we're not we're not heading west no, where you, this where is you eastern it? caribbean per- puerto rico uh, Tortola, British Virgin Islands, and St. Kitts and Nevis. I spent a week in Tortola once. It was nice. I spent a week Man, there one night. For that. <laughs> one of my favorite Kramer lines. For the beginning of 83, we have people that are going to be coming. Our guests are going to be coming back on. They're going to be choosing movies uh, that are pre-1982. Yeah, we have two um, months of So far, some of the movies that guests. are being tossed around. Uh, I've heard Apocalypse Now. Um, I've heard... Uh, I've heard um, hell of <laughs> Dog Day Afternoon. I heard, yeah, Brady, um, I think said that right. Yeah, and then uh, Anthony was like Blazing Saddles or 
Uh, didn't, he the, wanted. He the, wanted Katie, some... Katie said Blazing Saddles, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, I think Katie brought up Blazing Saddles. Okay. So. Um, Katie brought up two. Mamie, Mamie. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing a fucking musical that no one's ever heard about. No, we're not doing that. Kevin's uh, brought up Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, yeah. Network, one. which we just talked about. <sighs> and uh, Serpico. Serpico. That's another good one. Serpico. Pacino. All good movies, yeah. but I think Smokey and the Bandit would be the best one to podcast about because... I think we, uh, I think we would have fun so with that. Silly. There's a lot to talk about in that movie. Love Not Jer- a huge cast though. It's just Jerry like Reed. Four people. I mean, yeah, we got Jerry Reed. I, I, we could talk about Jerry Reed all day. But, but I guess uh, we could talk about um, Pat McCormick and uh, Paul Williams <laughs> a lot too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we're gonna co- have to call the call this. I'm gonna put a lid on it. Normally, we would say what we were gonna have for next week, but I don't think we have one from ne- uh, uh, next week. So I don't know what I'm gonna say with that. So we'll just but eventually, if something will come something out. will come out. But we unless don't know what. Brian yeah. dies driving to Florida or dies on his boat, what happened? Someone just fell off a boat the other day. They they rest. He was in the water all day. Yeah. Sometimes you're not surviving all day in the water. No. You are going down like a big fucking rock. So. Sometime during the next 18 days, he's going on an eight day cruise. So. <laughs> Have fun, Brian. Um, so he's driving to Florida. Maybe bring us back some trinkets. You know what the odds? Oh, of, I can do that. You know what the odds of flying to Florida and surviving are? It's like seven million to one. You know what the odds of driving to Florida and surviving? It's like a hundred thousand to one. Oh, it's a your big odds difference. drop a lot when Huge. you drive. So and especially with him. I thought you said you were okay with flying now, though. Like you got. I, I am, but we're going to be down there for a long time. I I need a car. Rent a car. <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess I could do that. But. <laughs> you're 25. You can rent a car. <laughs> and you, after you get off your cruise, you're like another week down there. Yeah, we're spending a week. Ugh. You're not, not going to be at your house. You're not going to be at your house for a month, dude. You're not going to see your house for a month. But he's month, leaving his though. children there yeah. and his mom. But still, he's leaving his children. Brady is going to fuck that place up. <laughs> Logan's gonna be going like going to the Alpines. I'm like, wait a minute, hang on now. Again, <laughs> Gloria's there. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. Mom just stays in her room. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting when you come back home. There, <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> Carrie and Connor, are they still gonna be there? I hope so. Oh, I think you're looking to get a new place, to, like their own place. Well, eventually they are. Yeah. But Katie's got her place, though, right? Yeah, Katie's out. I'm waiting for my invitation to the wedding. I'm going to make a speech. Oh, Connor and uh, <laughs> Connor, Connor and uh, Carrie. Yeah. We should have like a line. Like anybody who wants to say <laughs> give a speech, come up. I don't think I know either one of them well enough to give a speech. I mean, and like, a, I had both of them on my podcast as guests. That's about, about the extent of how I know and these people. you work people. with one of them. Oh, well, yeah. But just think of how embarrassing that would be to say in front of all those people. Like, you have to come up with something to say. I like, knew oh, that oh, Connor oh, was right for Carrie when he came on our The Thing episode of the Exciting New Podcast. And he gave that an excellent review. I think and Sitting uh, next to his future father-in-law think, sitting right over there, Brian. I think, when Brian gave it a 60 or whatever the fuck. I think Connor's gonna have to. I think Connor's gonna have to consider this now. Once he hears this podcast, that maybe he should have him say a few words. He, he ca- they were on the air when uh, we were on the air. That's when right. They called. It. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. They got yeah. engaged on the exciting new podcast. Yeah. Wow, man, we're news breaking for nobody in particular. No one cares. We're huge. <laughs> You're huge, man. That picture we posted of you going to the Impractical Joker show got like forty five likes. Did dude. it really? Oh, well, that's yeah. I was at it, man. People that's what I'm wanna, saying. It was a picture of Andy. They loved them. People wow. want to see more of me. That's yeah. on Instagram. You got to go on there to see. Go me. check out my check out the uh, exciting new Instagram. That's where everybody is. They're there. They're on Facebook, oh, yeah. Spreaker, TikTok, everywhere. <laughs> Get your podcast. Download <laughs> us. Like and subscribe. Give us a, a rating if you can. Oh, you got to do yeah. that. That's, and uh, that's, that's apparently important to 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 give five star reviews. Interact oh. with us out on the socials. We're there. We're lovely. We we're lovely to talk to. I'll we, never respond. I will respond. <laughs> uh, Kevin's our only talker. <laughs> uh, see you soon. And uh, I'm uh, the Jazoo on Instagram, Jazoo74 on Twitter. They call me Jason. A hey, Gonzo1 on Twitter, A hey, Gonzo1970 on Instagram. I'm Andy. And I'm Ryan Papa Baghetti. Nice. Got it done before the music <laughs> <I did. laughs>